Hi, it's Philip. Uh, I should try to show you a short demonstration of my own AXFAT manager, QPKJ. Uh, my problem is that uh, I write uh, this QPKJ in October for uh, a freehand that need to use AXFAT on his QNAP. But uh, <laughs> I just see now that QNAP uh, want to deliver a version of XFAT manager, but with a uh, cost. So I have a good question. Uh, can I uh, get, uh, put out my own QPKG or no? So what is my uh, XFAT manager? It's uh, free and open source. Uh, it's a built-to-mount uh, device and it's uh, integrated to be able to have uh, auto-mount mechanism uh, from QNAP but in char external so it's not possible to see it because uh, QNAP certainly because it don't recognize the file system even mountain uh, don't create the corresponding chair. So it's a, a small problem that we can manage uh, with a simple command. We can read, write, change the attribute and do large mm, kind of fi things that are possible to do. We have also tools to create a file system if you want and to dump to have all the information like dump uh, EQFS, uh, do it for uh, X xt2 three or four uh, file system so i just show you a short uh, demonstration of this point okay so when you plug uh, here it's a usb adapter with a sd card of 32 gigabyte <coughs> formatted as x f uh, fat so you can see that uh, it's mounted, uh, it's not mounted, but recognized by uh, the storage manager. So it's not mounted here. And, uh, but in fact, when you go to your system and you search the mount, you can see here that it's mounted, mounted by my mount.exfat uh, system. So it's mounted but here. And it's not very interesting because uh, QNAP don't create the share and you cannot create the share using the standard interface on share external. So it's a little difficult. So I have had my mount. My mount is a tool that permit you to have some information. First of them, it's the possibility to have the list of devices. So it's a functionality that are not present in QNAP uh, QTS uh, system, but uh, I add it. So in this case, we have one AX FAT uh, file system is SDE1. Okay. Uh, the second possibility in this command is to mount the file system not in share external uh, like uh, QNAP do but in a visible uh, existing share. So by default in the config file I use share multimedia because it's uh, generally for uh, video or uh, image that you use this uh, formula. So I can try to mount this. So I can use mount one and the device or mount all. In this case, I can use mount all. So already mounted and you see here. So auto mount works, but cannot don't create share. I dismount and mount in multimedia extract SD1. And I can verify by using the list mountain. List mountain is so mountain in my own uh, system. So now uh, my uh, um, cards, uh, fat cards is mounted in the visible uh, part. 
uh, I can see what are inside. And you can see here I have a video, uh, some music, a CD, and some uh, image from a uh, uh, friend uh, visit in Taipei. <coughs> okay, so now the most interesting part is that because it's now inside the uh, structure and the shark know we have a possibility to use for example the file system so if i search that and you can see the video with istanbul okay the disk itself and all the the image Okay, you can also, by the same, without difficulty, use the uh, window uh, visibility. So I can go in the networks. Okay, just uh, one second. I have a lot of servers, so it's and I have not prepared this. Okay, so I can search my TS-450. Okay, I can go to the multimedia, to the Exfat SD, and if I want to play the video, for, for example, I can read. So I can read immediately from a X a fat um, system the video through the knap with a chair in the uh, in the Windows uh, system. Okay, so I can go out. Last point: if I sorry, if I mount so my mount my mount I mount my system ok I list so now but if I do the mount I see that the QNAP system itself the QTS have re mount the, uh, <coughs> the system uh, the extract system on the old uh, position so it's uh, really integrated because each uh, on each event QTS is able to manage the XFAT uh, system. Here I can also eject as usual. Okay, so and it's closed. So in QNAP the XFAT system is visible when you connect on Storage Manager. QNAP know it and know the tool so is able to mount it but unfortunately without a visible share. So I am obliged to add my own uh, script and uh, you can use by any application uh, inside if we uh, remount it in a correct uh, point where uh, all are visible through a chair uh, file system. Okay, thank you.